going on you guys welcome to my channel if this is your first time seeing my face i go by zangie does this video is gonna be a part of my zangie does series it's zangie does tea series i don't really give advice in these kind of videos i did it last year i believe but this is gonna be a spooky episode okay hence the shirt hence the matching nails okay we are just gonna read some paranormal I found online um if you want to submit to my advice series the email is listed down below what i usually do in these is i do a little rundown of my week and what's going on with life but as of right now um we're gonna just focus on the all the paranormal things that i found sorry i'm trying to if you see me looking down I'm looking at my computer in front of me but um yes guys i'm so excited for today's video i love me some october but i am just a scaredy cat yes everything does scare me i am a wuss that's just the truth okay but i love dressing up and all that but anyways guys i compiled about four stories that i found on reddit um i'll say i'll say it in this always happens in the beginning i'm always stuttering and then i just slowly glide into it but what i was gonna say is that um what was i gonna say i'm like a little nervous guys i'm a little scared what was i gonna say guys i forgot I don't know what's going on okay but um it's your first time seeing me yes this is part of my advice series um i don't really know what advice you can give for paranormal situations called ghostbusters babe i don't you know what i'm saying so i just want to read these with you talk with you guys opinionate on them um start a conversation in the comments down below email anything paranormal of yours that you do want advice on to the email down below and yeah let's just get started i'm so nervous so excited um I just want to hop in honestly i don't really have much to say i'm just like it's october things is creepy i love this shirt you know what i'm saying oh again before you continue follow me on all my socials um show love if you want to know what else i do on youtube i do a lot of hair videos and this is just my little series on the side that i do which is my zanji does tea and for episode 11 today we're just gonna look at paranormal stories okay all right so um I will say Reddit right now is going through a situation and a lot of people, um, a lot of like story, story submission websites, they are protesting kind of, they're like saying, you know, like, please don't steal our stories, ask for permission first, and then other places are like, take what you want, if it's online, then you can use it. All of these stories I background checked and they are allowed to be reused. In the case that you know the story and it's yours or it's someone you know and you know that they don't want it on my channel, let me know. I will remove it and I have no problem doing that. I have no malintentions with this. I don't make any money off of this. I just simply like to take these stories and read online. Um, and I'm also doing it this way. I take my stories from Reddit or Core Digest because I don't have necessarily a big audience yet. So I don't get really many submissions. So if you want to be the first one, well, the second. I already had a submission once, but email to the email below so I can just retire from Reddit and give you stories from my subscribers, you know, and all of that. So let's get started. So the title of the first one I know is like, girl, be serious, be fucking for real, but <laughs> let's just, let's, let's have zero bias here, okay? And if you're super religious, click out of my video. This is literally just super, supposed to be just fun, lighthearted, and a little spooky, okay? Like, let's not bring religion into it. Spirituality is fine, but let's not, you know what I'm saying? Just for funsies, just for funsies, okay? So, this person's story is titled, I saw Abraham Lincoln crying before the pandemic. Now, I don't know what you gotta be doing to be seeing that. Let me stop. This is what they said. I'm not super into the paranormal or ghosts, etc. But in September of 2019, right before the pandemic hit, I saw Abraham Lincoln crying. Work paid for a trip to DC for one of our new contracts back in September. I was staying at a hotel not too far from the White House. Ooh, okay. So I figured a week while I stay there, I might as well jog around the White House, get some exercise in, get some views in, like look around. On the second day of my trip, while I'm jogging by the South Lawn, I'm on the side of the White House. I see this guy sitting down by the only door on that long horizontal wall. His head is bowed down in his hand, arm resting on his leg while sitting with his back against the wall. I'm trying to imagine that. Okay. As I started to get closer, I noticed this man is wearing an all black suit, has a black beard with wrinkles on his forehead. Then suddenly he looks up right at me and I think, holy shit, that's Abraham Lincoln. 
Literally, that's what I would do. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm childish. I, I will not lie to you. My body froze, goosebumps, chills, and I had an uneasy, uneasy feeling. He stares at me from 100 feet away. He was far, but my eye vision is good, so I know what I saw. He was also crying. Yes, I could see a tear down his right cheek. Do y'all hear that in the background? It was a plane, but it sounded a little sus. I know there's not much to this story, but it's true. The door seemed like some employee's entrance or maybe a fake old door, but it was cemented years ago. The only thing that I know is that Honest Abe was not happy. <laughs> That's what they said, not me. I don't even know if ghosts are real, but I did see him. What do you guys think? Okay, so when I do these, when I read these, I usually read the comments and then I give advice. But for these, we could just read the comments and type in the com comments below what we think. But what these comments say here is, oh my gosh, it's getting a little political in these comments. Someone said, you probably saw an actor that got bad news. Yeah. I think it's a little lighthearted story. I don't, like jokingly, yes, I would say, oh my God, is that Abraham Lincoln? Do we know? We will probably never know. It's pretty interesting. I wonder what time of day this person was running out. Yeah, I don't know. It's pretty interesting. But let's continue. That was the first story of the day. This is the second story. A paranormal encounter that still haunts me today. I was 16 to 17 years old, living in an emotionally unstable environment. Despite this, my family was practicing Christians with controlled Christian-approved TV, music, and clothes. Mm. My father was sometimes violent, and my mother sick from drug abuse. There was a lot of friction between us all, and the whole house was just an unhappy place. I lived with three younger siblings in a three-bedroom house. My two brothers shared a room, and my sister slept in my room in dad's bed or the couch. The room I was fine. The room I was in was fine for a while, maybe two times in the course of a year and a half. I felt like something was in the room with me. You know, like you're being watched. It was brief, nothing scary. I felt a little weird. I told myself I was crazy and just shook it off. I had a dog. Midnight and one night she would just stare in the one corner, up at the almost at the ceiling she would do this often but not every day she couldn't bark she would just stare and be a little tense it weirded me out i mean comment down below would y'all be weirded out too i'd be like can you stop just stop doing that also comment down below do you guys agree that animals can see ghosts and spirits or do you disagree okay sorry guys i'm trying to see what the hell something was flashing oh it's a tv okay <laughs> like a little, a little paranoia right now. Fast forward, my brothers hated going in that room, and when I moved out, my sister's cats always stared at the same corner. It creeped me out enough. <laughs> I'm getting creeped out. It creeped her out enough to not even sleep in that room. I never experienced anything after that night in the room nor outside. I'm very bothered by this experience. I can't find any answers on the internet. I was taught growing up and seeking interest in ghost shows wiggle boards witchcraft tarot cards etc can open your heart and life to those sort of things tarot cards though guys comment down below i don't think i'm not in my opinion i don't think tarot cards open up ouija boards yeah she wrote wiggle board by the way i didn't i didn't just say that but the board yeah tarot cards i don't know what's your opinion on that comment below so someone commented i once saw a shadowy person um, I yelled, turned the lights on, it was gone. Ugh. You know what, guys? I'm gonna take this time to share with you my paranormal experience. I think I mentioned it briefly last year, but I think I'm ready to talk about it because it's really embarrassing and it's really fucking creepy. Um, I don't remember what age I was, but, um... I was in high school and we lived in this apartment okay now i don't should i devote a whole story time to this no i'll just sneak it in here why not guys my camera i'm getting creeped out i'm not even pretending for the camera i don't know what the fuck, like maybe the room is windy i hope so okay guys long story short because i'm getting worded out um when I would come home from school, no one would be home yet, and sometimes I'd like to take a little 30-minute nap, quick nap. Um, honestly, all of high school, I was super fucking sleep-deprived because school is just tiring, okay? There's a lot of work. I traveled 
an hour there, an hour back. Like, it was a long process for me as a high schooler. So, I slept in my little brother's bed. This, like, little f***ing Ikea bed. I, sh I don't know if I should put a picture of the screen because you're going to be like, you're the worst. Like, why are you sleeping in his little ass bed? <laughs> but, guys, I was tired. I sleep on this bed. And I don't know if you guys have... I've had a fair share of sleep... Um, What's it called? Sleep paralysis. Um, I got it a lot in high school. I don't know if it's because I was just stressed or not getting enough sleep, but I used to get it all the time in that time frame. Now that I'm an adult, I don't get it that much. Knock on wood, because don't do that shit to me, please. But I kind of like, at this time of my life, I was like, okay, I know how to get out of it. You know, like, you know what to say, focus on something, try to wake up, try to tell yourself, get up, get up, like, you know, move a little, like, and you'll be feeling stiff. Like, you're like, that's how it feels guys oh my god this is so it just feels so wrong talking about it because it's scary i'm sleeping i'm falling in and out of sleep i'm home alone i know that i am it's a small apartment like you know i have a key just me and my mom have a key and my dad the kids are too little for their own keys the doors are very loud like you can if someone comes in you can hear it go you know the locks are loud as hell too like you know what I'm saying? Like, it was 2 p.m., 3 p.m. My mom came at, like, 5 or 6, and my dad at, like, 10 p.m. No one was home. And I always did this thing when I came home. I would check around the whole house to make sure no one was home, you know, type thing. Like, who's in here? And then I'll just be chill, right? <sighs> Guys. I've never told no one this story. I don't tell that many people this story because it's kind of, like, kind of embarrassing, kind of awkward, kind of, like, what the f that and i need answers please don't be weird in the comments saying girl that was so and so and you need to do this and this because daddy's still following you he's still following you she's still following you be careful you know like please don't scare me like that please um i try to research it i was terrified i'm sorry i'm jumping all over the place but i'm just scared as hell right now okay you're safe you're okay <sighs> i had to just give myself some affirmations but guys I'm falling in and out of sleep, and I'm like, okay, I gotta be awake soon to pick up my siblings. Kid you not, it's like 15 minutes. I'm just, for whatever reason, going, you ever do that? You go in and out of sleep. Like, you know, we lived on like a street where there's a lot of people that walk by. So, like, people, there'll be college students that live nearby, and they'll make a noise, and I'll be like, oh, and go back to sleep. I'm fully knocked at this point. I got an alarm set on my phone to not, you know, miss picking up my siblings <sighs> guys oh my god i'm like shaking a little okay um i'm sleeping facing the wall which there's a mirror in front of me and a window in front of me and the bed and i'm in it so my back is facing the door Ugh, red flag mistake number one you never do that obviously the door is wide open because i'm trying to see everything obviously my back is turned toward it but i just wanted to hear in case any weird thing happened right like someone breaking in <sighs> guys i'm gonna put on the screen the position i was in i was just sleeping you know i can't really fit in the fucking bed it's little guys hold on i need a one second sorry guys my camera is like dying soon so i'm trying my best here but Anyways, I'm sleeping and I wake up again and I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, what time is it? I'm like, hmm. And I'm just there and I'm like, ooh, I got sleep paralysis right now. Oh no. I'm like, okay, just another day. Just try to get out of it. So I'm like trying to, I feel my body like I'm trying to move it, stiffen it up so I can move a little bit. So I'm trying to like move my body, trying to get out of it. As I'm moving my body back, I'm like, why? there's something behind me. I'm on the edge of the bed, guys. Like, nothing could have been behind me. There was no room for it. I was purposely laying on the end of the bed so that I could wake up. Like, I didn't want to get too comfy or nothing because it's a quick nap. And I'm like, guys, I'm like, what the fuck is that? And I just feel this... Oh my god like i don't want to cry like, it was just because i know people lie about stories like this all the fucking time but i have nothing to lie about like i don't even like talking about it because i'm always scared that it's gonna happen again 
but please. So as I'm trying to move my body, I realized there's a heavy weight on my back. And it was warm. And I'm like, dude, if this is sleep paralysis, like this is getting a little too realistic. Like it's really gross. Like, uh, like what is that? So obviously I'm like, I didn't hear no one come in because I would have heard it. And I don't think it's anyone. Doesn't feel like a person. The minute I said that, my ear, this ear, I feel a breathing. I feel a breathing in my ear, guys. And I was like, nah. Am I about to get R-worded in my brother's bed? Like, who is that? And why can't I move and see? And I'm stressing out. I'm ready to cry because I'm like, what the fuck? Like, oh my God. Like, I'm scared. And I'm like, like, what is that? You know, and I can't move. <sighs> guys, like, I like nothing crazy happened that day. I went to school. Just went to school. Nobody followed me home. Like, I promised I was okay. Like, there was, it made no sense why I felt like there was somebody on the bed with me when I was home alone. And there was no room for anyone to be behind me. Now, the creep, it doesn't even end there. It goes, whatever it was, goes as far as the breathing in my ear. And I'm like, this can't be. Like, it felt like someone's hot breath in my ear. And I was like, my legs are bent a certain way, like I'll put in the screen. I feel some legs behind my leg, and I'm like, and I'm obviously crying. I'm like, in my head, I'm like, oh my god, like I'm about to get R worded, but I can't see who it is. Whatever. Don't try to diagnose. Like, it, I swear, guys, like this is not me projecting or pretending, like, or like covering up a trauma. And, like, I swear, this is what was going on. And then I'm like, what the hell is that? And now we're cupcaking. And I'm just like, what the fuck? And I'm pissed. And I'm disgusted. I'm angry. I want to fight, but I can't move. And here's where it gets more disgusting. Whatever this was, I just feel a tail. This, like, long. I'm not. No, it's not. No, it's no penis near my butt. I'm talking about near the legs. Something wraps in between my legs. Going up and down. Like a tail. And that, I don't know what, I was just like, help, like somebody help me, like get me out of my mind state, like I don't want to, like please leave me alone, like I don't want to get hurt, like please stop touching me, it's like I was just saying that in my head, and I was like, please, like you're scaring me, who is this, like just saying whatever. And all of a sudden, I just like, jolt back enough where it just goes away, my back is cold. And obviously, I shoot my head back, like, what the fuck was that? Like, who was that? What, like, and I'm looking around, I'm scared. I'm like, grabbing everything. I'm like, you know, I have my phone, I dial 911. I'm like, and I'm dead serious, guys. Like, I would not lie about this. And I've never told this story to anyone or online or anything. I went to my partner and a friend, like, one friend. You know, I didn't tell my family, I didn't tell my siblings or nothing. Cause I don't want them to get scared or feel like, what the hell's wrong with this house or what's good with her? We gotta send it to a hospital. I check the whole house, I check under the bed, I check in the room, check in the closet, like I'm like terrified. And honestly, I think I try to drink some water and I try to Google it and I was just like, honestly, I'm sleep deprived. I don't even want to know what that was. <sighs> I have heard of, hold on. <laughs> I have heard of people say go sleep with humans. I never manifested that. I never asked for that. I don't believe in that. I don't knock on wood. Like, please don't no energy come and try to find that out. Like, I don't. That's why it was so traumatizing. Because I was like, ain't no fucking way a ghost is trying to sleep with my ass right now. Um, And I know it's funny or whatever, but it's very creepy and it's really weird. I don't know how I feel about that conspiracy. Because obviously... If that was real, then that means I was about to get R-worded. And how do you explain to someone that you were about to get R-worded by a ghost? Or that you did? It's like, please, can you just pop up in the corner of the room instead? Like, what was all of that? You know what I'm saying? So it has never happened again. Um, after that, I was like, I need to go to bed and get enough sleep. No more sweets after a certain time. You know, focus on my diet, all that. I was just like that was 
eerie and disgusting and i always told myself it was not a person because people don't have tails like the minute i felt that tail sh i was like that was some supernatural sh and i hope to never be so sleep deprived that i feel that again i cannot explain to you why that was happening and if it was sleep paralysis why it was so sexual um and that's why i kind of have shame talking about it online or even bringing it up because i don't want, pe want people to think not you you be manifesting trying to sleep with ghosts like that is not you know like I'm, i have much shame and it's like on the other half people are like you're going crazy like what are you talking about like people don't you know ghosts don't sleep with humans and you know it's like it's not something nothing i've ever crossed my mind it's not anything i would ever research like you know how people say you manifest things because you always look it up you always think about it never i would never think about like you know i had crushes on guys like people like no no i want to say that my family in heaven at the time was protecting me okay because that sh was disgusting and that's the first time and the only time i'm going to talk about it of course i hope this does not happen to anyone i know and i hope it doesn't happen to me again because i swear to god like you know and it's like it's very it's a touchy subject because you tell a therapist they might think you're hallucinating and it's like whatever you know but you know i can tell you on the camera i don't like sa like that's never i've never been in a situation like that and i wasn't like reliving it because i was half awake you know what i mean like it wasn't a dramatic moment i was reliving and it's like the tale and it's like you know it's really hard you're a high schooler who do you talk to about this what do you say and i honestly had to swallow it and move on with my life but that's my tip if you're having sleep paralysis whatever the ghost that's there is trying to do to you or whatnot just try your best to wake up okay i wasn't even trying to keep sleeping to find out what that thing was gonna do do i think it was gonna go there i have no clue because the way it manifested so realistically was terrifying so no i don't wish that I, more minutes could have passed to see what was gonna happen next i don't where it ended was where it needed to end period like it still gives me chills as you can see it makes it something i'm very anxious about mm. and i'm only talking about it on youtube because i feel like hold on guys i just want to make sure yeah guys but that is my paranormal story please don't judge me okay i cannot control what happened i'm only sharing to make y'all feel comfortable if you had a really uncomfortable paranormal experience because i've been there unfortunately and so glad that nothing weird has happened again but let's read one or two more stories and conclude today's episode this one is super interesting it's called i think i ran into a dead celebrity before i get into the post mandatory throwaway mention because a fair amount of my friends keep up to date on my posts um okay they're basically saying they had to post this from their burner account i work as a cashier at a local grocery store it is typically a very quiet place i think 10 to 15 customers throughout an eight hour shift there's never more than one cashier working at a time so it's usually yourself your thoughts and whatever music is playing on the speakers i'm stuck working the evening shift the most quiet part of the day and after a few hours of standing there in boredom a customer finally walks through the door he was an older gentleman with gray hair and that circle beard combination thing not sure the name of it i don't know either i greet him and see him grab a few things as he comes up to the register he starts humming the song i was playing i make a comment about some artists that my camera's dying guys so if this was just to my iphone just don't mind me he was talking about my era of music hold on guys i don't want to lose the footage let me change it all right guys so continuing on yeah guys sorry i was not anticipating the camera switch up but anyways anyways continuing continuing on i'm like looking at myself but i'm trying to find the hole okay so he asked me if i wanted to be in the music industry it's something i never really spent time thinking about but wanted to hear what he was going to say i said yes he told me to stay clear from it how it takes artists and sucks their souls and the creativity that they have he then looked at me in the eyes and said it gets to a point where there's anything you can do to get away from it no matter how bad it won't work that sentence sent chills down my spine Hearing the more cheery demeanor he had be completely erased, I didn't really have a response to what he said. And then he kind of chuckled to himself and said something along the lines of, sorry, didn't mean to scare you like that. 
I'm not exactly afraid of my old career. He, I asked him again who he was, and he told me not to worry about it. People from the past then paid for his order and left. Now, the reason I mentioned paranormal is because of what the person mentioned. He looked like a perfect match to a prolific musician that died years ago. I looked up several pictures of the guy afterwards to make sure I wasn't going crazy and he was the perfect fit. He spoke of several older artists like he knew them. He spoke about the industry like someone who was pulled in it for a, lo a long time. If it was really him, then either I saw a spirit and should reconsider my belief on the paranormal or he faked his death to get away from the spotlight. If it's a second one, then that's absolutely tragic. I agree. And that was his only way of living peacefully if it's true. Well, people in the comments are saying this is probably the second, like he just pretended he died to live on with his life. Yeah, she's not telling people who it is that she saw, but mm. what do you guys think on this theory that certain celebrities, I'm not going to say I, I agree or disagree, just want to start a conversation. Aaliyah, Tupac, Biggie, you know, left eye, like people pretending to pass away to live a different life um i do hear that the music industry is corrupt and horrible so yeah i don't know how i feel about that but yeah i think i'm too spooked out for my last search i think i'm gonna end it here we're already on iphone camera like it's it's big it's gone too far but thank you so much for watching today's video i'm sorry if i'm looking at this and then the, the camera I don't usually film my with my iPhone like this. I maybe I should. Moving forward is kind of cute. I don't know how I feel about it. From right here, it looks alright, but I swear when I start to edit, I'm probably gonna be like, ew. <laughs> but yeah, guys, thank you for watching today's episode. If I'm whispering a little bit, it's because people are home and I'm not trying to creep them out. Okay, some people just don't like paranormal, and I'm trying to respect that. But um. <laughs> Thank you for watching today's video. Don't forget to follow me on all my socials. And if it's your first time seeing me, don't forget to subscribe, send a like, share my video with your friends. If you're watching this on Halloween night, hey, enjoy, you know, get lit, watch the video. If you have a similar experience to me that I did in that day, comment down below or email me in the email below if you have any stories you want to share. Um, this was a paranormal episode. They're not all paranormal, but yes, if you have a story you want to share, don't forget to submit to the email below. Again, we're trying to retire from Reddit. You know, I'm just trying to grow my portfolio. So if you guys have anything that you can please share, please do so. Don't be nervous. Don't be shy. The rules are on the screen on how to submit. It's really simple, really easy, and super anonymous. Um, I have at this point, 10 episodes 11 episodes out so that should kind of give you a good idea of how i give advice what i have to offer and yeah guys if not the press on now see i have pcs on look i told y'all about it last episode i'm one thing about me is i'm not gonna lie pcs are not that girl but anyways have a good day have a good week morning night whenever you're watching this thank you for watching this and sorry for the camera movement and all of that thank you for trusting me with my horror story my paranormal experience if you do trust me please don't leave any hate comments like i don't even want to hear it you can message me on my socials if you want to talk more about paranormal stuff but yeah guys i don't really have much else to say i'll see you in the next episode episode 12 and yeah, you guys have a great week. I hope you had an amazing October and I'll see you next month for more stories.